I want to start this video by saying I understand why people don't release their replays. As an individual releasing your replays, not only is it kind of against your best interest in the short term, but it's a scary proposal as well. You're giving away your own strategies in the short term where people can study your gameplay and use that against you in events. There are monetary reasons why you might not want to do that as well other than tournament prize pools. After all, some people can monetize it and that's going to be something that goes to their subscriber only viewing base on Twitch. So that makes sense why they wouldn't want to release their replays when they can get monetary incentive not to. But let's talk about the growth of StarCraft as in replays are what made StarCraft so great. You could watch yourself play this game and see how to get better. And then you can get replays from people who are way better than you and see how they play and emulate them and get into their head and become just as good as they are, or at least close. That was the competitive draw of StarCraft, at least for me personally. When we're locking replays off, it stops people from being able to do that. And some percentage of people will just go straight to YouTube, even skipping the act of going to replays themselves. But even the people who would go to replays are now going to go to YouTube. Well, let me ask you this. Who out there is actually teaching people how to play? Well, you've got some really great people. You had Day9, you currently have Nero, and you have Pig, and you have Thinner, and all kinds of people that I'm forgetting to mention. But these are all great players in and of themselves. Loco, for example. He does his own games. Railgan does VODs of his own games. I know these are great players, but there is a certain amount of buy-in. If you're not a great player, it cuts into how you can teach. Now, I might not be able to execute builds to the level of sophistication that Dark can, but I can theoretically get my head around why he does what he does. I can understand his tactics. I can understand his strategy, and more importantly, I can create visual aids to help me explain it to someone else. So I can teach even if I can't play on the same level as someone like Dark or Loco or any of the other people I've mentioned. I think there's a lot of other people out there just like me who have maybe not placed their eggs all in the basket of learning StarCraft, but instead maybe focused on media or video editing who would be able to do wonders with replays just like I can when they're uploaded to spawning tool. There's dozens of people, if not hundreds of people out there who would be able to create content for this community. Now here's the question, why does the community care? Why should the community care if there's more or less content creators? Well, let me ask you this. How hard of a game is StarCraft? I think we all know that answer. It's pretty damn hard. And how often do people start the game only to never really get that into it, get frustrated, and give up? I think we know the answer to that as well. It's a lot. Many of our own friends probably have. But if you explain that to your friend, and you send them a video showing them how to be great, and how to get past that hump, that's going to be of great benefit. If you send a Zerg player to someone like Nero or my channel, they're going to be able to learn splitting and gameplay mechanics and whatever, what have you. And that's going to help accelerate their growth. It's going to help retain them because now they're getting a little more invested before the frustration kicks in. And that's going to grow our community. Think of all of the guides available for Dota 2 or for CSGO. Games where the guides don't exactly extinguish as quickly as ours do. Build orders expire very quickly. And a VOD from six months ago to a year ago dates very, very poorly. So as long as we don't have constant updates for content, in the StarCraft community, we're going to see people leaving because they get frustrated. They see something old. They don't know how to distinguish good information from bad information. 
we need more content creators and for that reason we need to release more replays so that more content can be created think of how many replays day nine used just for his day nine daily the amount of work that having replays saves you from is monumental so guys, I urge you to, to ask your friends for replays. Get them uploaded to Spawning Tool or SE2 Replay Stats. Get them out there so the community can get their hands on them. So that we can grow. Now this circles back around. Why is it more beneficial for higher level players to release their replays, even at the short term cost to themselves? Let me ask you this. What happens if we get fewer and fewer people watching this game? If people slowly leave and are not replenished? Unfortunately, that means fewer prizes for big names. It means fewer events with smaller prize pools. We can't let that happen. We have to keep this StarCraft community strong. Replays help do that. It helps not only with the educational side of things, but just taking wacky, bizarre games from amazing players and chopping up a highlight reel. That is only possible with a replay. Think about this. How unhappy do people get if you use their VODs from their tournament? I can personally attest to that. They do not like it when that happens. And maybe that's understandable. But if you were to take a highlight reel from like the most exciting 10 moments of the StarCraft year and three of this organization that shall remain nameless, three of their highlights were used in this video. Would that be theft of content? I don't know. I feel like at this point people might would throw some of those accusations around. But imagine if the replay was there. The replay belongs to Blizzard. Actually, so do all the visual elements. So you could probably get away with it, but that's its own fair use story. Either way, think of how much more we could be doing as a StarCraft community. How much more content we could have. How many more people we could be embracing with just a changes in how we approach intellectual content it's just a thought guys please tune in next week where we will be talking about the new maps and the best ways to play on them i hope you're enjoying them this latter season it's going to be a great one if you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.